Hello, greetings! Uh, let's take a look at example 2 from week 3, where we continue on uh, in chapter 2, uh, specifically section 2.2 .2 on applications of linear programming. Uh, and so in this screencast, uh, we'll set up our linear programming model for an investment problem, and then we'll have a follow-up screencast in which we numerically solve it. Um, so without further ado, here we go. So Bank One is in the process of devising a loan policy that involves a maximum of $12 million. The following table provides the pertinent data about the available loans. Okay, so we have five types of loan uh, provided with interest rate and then also a bad debt ratio. Bad debts are unrecoverable and produce no interest revenue. Competition with other financial institutions dictates the allocation of at least 40% of the funds to farm and commercial loans. To assist the housing industry in the region, home loans must equal at least 50% of the personal car and home loans. And the bank limits the overall ratio of bad debts on all loans to at most 4%. Okay. So let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, to try and... Ah, so try and simplify the notation used in solving. So we have five types of loan. Five types of loan. So I'm just going to label them uh, types 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. And I'm going to define my variables. Okay. I'm going to define my variables um, where um, xi is um, allocation... to loan I in millions of dollars, where I is either one, two, three, four, or five. All right, so I just corresponds to the uh, loan type, um, where we just uh, indexed them uh, up here. All right, so what's our objective or goal? Okay, so our objective slash goal is to maximize so maximize our net return okay and so by net return um, we will make investments in three different types of loans uh, those loans will generate interest but then we will also have to account for uh, bad debt okay and so um, let's go through this and try and um, work this out. Okay. So I'm going to let Z, okay, Z is going to be our net return. In uh, millions of dollars. Okay. And so, in defining Z, I'm going to introduce two um, additional quantities. Okay, so let's let Y be our um, investment return. Okay, and let's let W uh, correspond to our um, bad debt. Okay, so that's going to be our bad debt, and both of these will be in uh, units of millions of dollars. Okay, let's start with the bad debt term, uh, which is a little easier uh, to compute. Okay, so in terms, oh, in in terms of separating this into uh, y and uh, w, um, so where I'm ultimately going is my net return in millions of dollars is going to be defined or um, calculated as my uh, investment return uh, in millions minus my bad debt uh, ratio, um, also in millions of dollars. So in terms of computing these, okay, so this bad debt term, okay, so what I'm going to do is, well, I can invest, you know, X1 X2, X3, X4, and X5 a million dollars in all three types of loans. Okay. 
So the bad debt corresponding to each of those types of loans will be equal to the uh, money invested times the bad debt ratio. Okay, so I'm going to sum over all types of loans and sum up the product of the amount invested in that type of loan times the bad debt ratio. Okay, so my bad debt is going to be equal to, oh, so I... Um, so looking at loan type 1, so it'll be 0 0.1 times x1 plus 0 0.07 times x2 plus 0 0.03 x3 plus 0 0.05 x4. plus 0.02x5. All right, so that's my bad debt. Okay, so my net returns, my investment return in millions uh, minus my bad debt. So there's my bad debt term. Um, so let's go about calculating our investment return. Okay. okay, so if you look back up at the table, Okay, so, you know, initial thought in terms of calculating my investment return would be equal to the dollars I invest in each type of loan times the interest rate. All right, so first thought would be the amount of money invested in each loan type times the interest rate. Okay, however, what we need to account for uh, is the fact that bad debts are unrecoverable and produce no interest revenue. Okay, so, you know, we've already calculated our bad debt, all right, so the, those unrecoverable uh, funds that we invested. Um, but now what we need to make sure we do is when we um, calculate our um, interest generated, um, we need to account for um, our bad debt, which generates no interest. Okay, And so what we're going to have to do is, um, so normally you would think the total invested times the interest rate would give you um, the interest generated per type of investment. Um, but what we're going to have to do is subtract off the amount of that investment, which is uh, due to bad debt. Okay. And so what that'll look like, okay, so Y, okay, so we're going to have interest rate due to investment type one. Okay. Okay. And we'll multiply that by one minus the bad debt ratio, which is 0 0.1. times x1, right? So if you were to distribute this through, right, you'd have x1 minus 0.1x1, which would be the total amount invested in uh, loan type 1 minus the fraction of that that um, corresponds to bad debt, okay? So it'd be that amount, that amount invested that's going to generate interest times the interest rate. Okay. All right, so then plus looking at investment 2, so interest rate's 0 0.13, so it'll be 0 0.13 times 1 minus 0 0.07x2, okay, plus investment type 3 has an interest rate of 0 0.12, okay, so this is plus 0 0.12, okay, 1 minus 0 0.03 times x3, plus investment type 4 uh, farm has an interest rate of 0 0.125 so 1 minus 0 0.05 uh, times x4 plus investment type 5 has an interest rate of 0 0.1 so this would be 0 0.1 times 1 minus 0 0.02 x5. Okay, So y, here's my term corresponding to my um, investment return in millions of dollars. And then w is going to correspond to our uh, bad debt. Okay, So our uh, net return is going to be that interest generated minus bad debt, bad debt being that money that we lost. Okay? All right. Now, um, let's keep going. 
So now we need to think about constraints, okay? So we have our objective function, right, which is going to be to maximize um, our returns, okay? And now what we need to think about are our constraints, okay? So I'm going to read through the problem statement piece by piece, okay? And let's list our constraints one by one. So starting at the top of the problem, so reading, um, so we see that we have a maximum of $12 million that we can invest. All right, so we have a maximum of $12 million that we can invest. So it's a maximum. We are not invest. don't necessarily have to invest all $12 million. Okay. So if, you know, XI corresponds to the, you know, millions of dollars invested in each loan type, okay, so then the total investment would be the sum of um, all three values. Okay, so this corresponds to my total investment. That has to be less than or equal to 12, right? Because I have at most $12 million to invest. So there's constraint one. Okay. Let's keep reading. So competition with other financial institutions dictates that the allocation, or dictates the allocation of at least 40% of the funds to farm and commercial loans. Okay, so if my total investment is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5, um, at least 40% of that needs to go to farm and commercial loans. Okay, so at least 40% of my total investment needs to go to farm and commercial loans, where that's going to be investment type 4 and type 5. Okay, so the amount invested in farm and commercial x4 plus x5 has to be greater than or equal to 40% of my total investment. So that's 0 0.4 times, and I'm going to sum over all of my investments. Okay, bam. And, you know, this is a case where you could go and, and distribute and, and simplify this equation, um, but when we're ultimately going to solve in Excel, one, there's, there's really no reason um, and two, I'm going to keep it like this because this makes it easier for me to connect back to the problem in terms of exactly what I did. Right? But um, we certainly could go and simplify it. Okay, so that's uh, that 40% constraint. Uh, next, uh, we're told to assist the housing industry in the region. Home loans must equal at least 50% of the personal car and home loans. So personal car and home loans, that's type 1, 2, and 3. And so home loans, which is type 3, must be at least 50% of personal car and home. Okay, so that, so X3, okay, so X3, okay, it needs to be at least 50% of, so it's going to be greater than or equal to X1 plus X2 plus X3. Okay, so there's constraint 3. So 50% of personal car and home. Got it. And then last, we're told the bank limits the overall ratio of bad debt on all loans to at most 4%. So the bank limits the overall ratio of bad debts on all loans to at most 4%. So how I interpret that is we define W up here. So W... Um, is given by this equation, so bad debt ratio times amount invested in each loan type. So um, W has to be less than or equal to, right, because it has to be no more than 4% of our total investment. So W, okay, so W, and um, I won't write it out in the interest of space, has to be less than or equal to 4%, 0 0.04, times our total investment. Bam. Okay, so the overall ratio of bad debt and all loans to most 4%. So we've got that. That's the end of the problem statement. Um, then the only other one I haven't mentioned yet is we'll have to apply our non-negativity constraint because we're discussing investments and we can't invest negative dollars. So the last constraint we'll have is our non-negativity. 
So we've seen, you know, when we solve in Excel, um, we can just indicate that our variables have to be greater than or equal to zero, non-negative. Um, but to write it out, we, would, you know, could say x1 is greater than or equal to zero, x2 is greater than or equal to zero, x3 is greater than or equal to zero, x4 is greater than or equal to zero, and x5 is greater than or equal to zero. So that's it. All right, that's um, our linear programming model for this investment problem. Uh, the last step would be to summarize out our equations. Um, but in the interest of time, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll stop the video. I'll summarize it um, you know, here and, and post these notes with the video. Um, but then in the next screencast, we'll pick up and solve the problem. Okay, So I hope that helps.